don't even know what they are. They're just hexagon shapes and made from wood. Hey guys, welcome back to another one of my videos. I was kind of looking at all the supplies that I have and trying to figure out what I want to make. So I had these like hexagon wooden stand, I guess, whatever. Lots of wooden dowels. I also had this clock over here which is like a really plain simple clock, it's not the nicest. So I was looking at all this stuff and I was like, you know what, I'm not sure what I wanna make. And then all of a sudden the idea hit me. I'm going to take these wooden dowels over here and I kinda want to place them on this hexagon. I'm gonna turn this into a really nice wooden minimalist looking clock. The hand is kinda moving because I tried to pull out the backing before, but it's okay, we'll fix that later. So I'm hoping this will turn out really cute. I don't know how it's gonna go. Um, oh yeah, by the way, all of these items that I'm using are from the dollar store, so that's always a bonus. going to take these dowels. I've got my little miter saw over here and I'm going to use that to cut these dowels to size. So I'm debating between having them like really tightly put together on the hexagon or having a little bit of space in between them. I'm going to cut some and then kind of place it out, feel it out, see how it looks, see which one I like better and then if I need to uh, cut more then I'll do that. Let's see. Okay, so I've got these dowels, and what I basically want to do is I want to cut them to the shape of this hexagon, um, and I'm going to glue them onto the top of this hexagon over here. I'm just going to mark like an approximate of where I need to cut. Probably cut them all around this length just at first, and then kind of lay them all out, see how it looks. first one. I think this is gonna look really really cute so I'm gonna go ahead and cut all my dowels. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my hexagon and then trace out exactly where I need to cut. So just a slight little teeny tiny problem. I've got my miter box over here that I'm using to cut down the edges of my dowels to fit the hexagon, but this miter box only cuts 90 degrees or 45 degree angles. And because I'm fitting the dowels to a hex shape, they need more like 22 and a half angles. And the pieces are a little bit too small to like comfortably cut with a miter saw. So I've got another little idea. I'm not sure it's gonna work, but I'm gonna try it out and hopefully it will. I'm gonna take some sandpaper over here. This is a hundred grit. And I'm thinking of just cutting the 45 degree angles and then sanding down the rest just so that I can get the angle that I need. Even if it works, I don't think it's gonna be perfect because you know, sanding is not a perfect science, but at least it'll have the nice angles that I wanted to. Hopefully it works. So keep watching and you'll see. Okay, so when I'm cutting the 45, I wanna make sure to have the outer edge of my 45 degree angle hit where I've marked the outer edge of this dowel. That way I can just sand down the rest to the 22 and a half. I've got my 45s cut over here and I've got these markings here and I can just sand down the rest to get it to be at that angle. Just take a look at what the 45 angle looks like. That's the smaller one over here and what the dowel that I've sanded down to my 22 and a half ish degree angle looks like. This is just going to create like a smoother line for our hexagon angles. Okay, so check this out. One of the sides is done and it looks amazing. I'm so excited. After a good amount of sanding, I'm finally done. And I've got my dowels all ready here. I'm gonna use my favorite weld bond over here, and then I'm gonna glue them down to my hex shape. I've left the 
glue to dry for a couple hours. Here is what it looks like once it's nice and dry. It looks awesome. It's really nice and steady. I don't think any of these pieces are coming off anytime soon. So I'm really happy with that. Next step, just drill a hole in the center so that I can put the clock mechanism through it. this clock over here. I could have gotten a smaller one, but this is the one I had at home, so I'm gonna use this one. I'm just gonna separate the mechanism from the actual clock. I don't even know how I'm gonna do this because it looks like it's all glued together. I don't want to break it. Make sure that your clock mechanism is long enough to go through the hexagon and the dowels. I had to notch out the back just a little bit so that the mechanism can turn. Sometimes the mechanism is like a little bit short. I just measure it to make sure that everything fits well. And if it doesn't, you can always use smaller dowels or like even um, those little kebab sticks, which would also be easier and would still look really nice. Maybe I should have done that. I've gone ahead and glued my clock mechanism to the back right over here and then I'm just going to put in the pieces, the arms. Um, the arms are a little bit long so I just cut them to the size that I wanted. I like that they were square so I kept them that way but just cut them a little bit shorter. So let me turn the clock around and now you can see the final beautiful product. So it came out like really nice, sleek, it looks a little bit minimalist, a little bit boho, and I absolutely love how it turned out. If you like this DIY, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel so that you won't miss any of my future videos. Why would you want to miss them? And leave me a comment down below if you try this DIY. Bye guys, see you next time.